Coming up in today's program. We spoke to the recently installed Chancellor, Professor Jackie Kay, after her visit to the Allerton Studios. We take a sneak peek at the preparations that took place for today's fashion show. And we'll have all the latest updates here at Media City UK, counting down to the opening of the festival. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Keys News. I'm Antonia Hunter. And I'm Adam Bysouth. Today we are broadcasting live from Media City UK, bringing you the latest coverage in the run-up to this year's Create Salford Festival. Soon we'll be talking to the festival director, Sam Ingleson, but first let's head downstairs here at Media City, where the festival will officially open in just a few minutes' time. Kate Troy is there for us now. Yes, so I'm right here in the middle of Salford's Create Festival, where at the minute staff and students are preparing for the, all of the events. As you can see behind me, students from the Graphic Design Department are currently showcasing some of their best work throughout the year, where family and friends can come and enjoy all of their achievements. I spoke to a few of those involved. Yeah, uh, basically it's just like a good way to end the year, like we're showcasing all the work we've done throughout the year. So it's just nice to be able to get people to come around and see what we're doing. This is my second year of it being create, so yeah, it's, it's always very busy, but um, always very interesting and very good. So as you can probably hear, Sam Seth is sound checking behind me at Media City. But if your tastes are more towards a traditional side of music, then head over to the Allerton campus, where a live brass band will be captivating crowds between half six and half seven. Other acts performing at the festival include Apollo Dawn, Joe Beadles and Matthew McCloskey. It sounds pretty good to me, but it's back to you guys. Thanks Kate. Now joining us live in the studio is Sam Ungelson, who is festival director. So Sam, first of all, a huge thanks for joining us on the Keys News You're sofa welcome. tonight. Obviously an event of this kind must take a lot of planning in order to put on. So could you give us an idea how long you've actually been preparing for today? Okay, we started roughly in about January, um, working out what we wanted to be on. But the exciting thing about this festival is that it's obviously all fresh work that students prepare and they don't finish their level six work until the end of May. So even though we sort of know roughly what's going to happen, we don't know until at least the end of May what is going to happen. So it's always new and exciting. So yeah. Okay, so last year the festival was a huge success. So um, what's different this year? What have you added on to the festival? Okay, the festival this year we've chose to focus more on the idea of um, celebrating students' work. Um, and we've got a number of different new things that are happening. So tonight, for instance, we've got the comedy um, event that's happening at um, Love Conquers All across the way. Tomorrow night, we've got the um, music collaboration, which is a great collaboration with Carnegie Mellon University and Salford University with Nancy Galbraith um, singing there. And that's a live thing at Manchester Cathedral, which we're really looking forward to as well. And why would you say it's so important for students to take part in this event? Is it the industry figures? Is it the fact they have their work showcased on this scale? Why is it for you, Sam, as a director? I think it's important for a number of things. I think it's really important to celebrate the achievements that they've, they've done. They've worked really hard throughout the year. I think it's a very odd time when you, you work in, especially in the sort of creative industries, to your end of your degree and you're putting all your work into whatever it is, whether that's artwork or a performance or music, and then you just leave. So it's really important to celebrate it, allow friends and family to come in, but most importantly as well, to allow industry um, guests, we get, we get a, a load of different industry partners and collaborators who we work with throughout the year. but. Obviously this is a time that they can come, whether that's to see work from students they've worked with already or whether that's um, just to find new talent. All right, Sam, thank you very much for joining us okay, today. It sounds really exciting. Thank you. 
Now, for those of you who haven't experienced Create Salford before, here's a little taster of the festival from previous years. <laughs> to Sam for joining us on the sofa tonight. Now, although here at Media City our building is set to be jam-packed full of showcases, industry guests and live music, you'd probably wrong in thinking the fun stops there. Now, Allerton Studios are hosting inspiring showcases from across the School of Arts and Media. Alex Worthing went to talk to the University of Salford's Chancellor, Professor Jackie Kay, about the impressive work on display this year. Today marks the beginning of CREATE 2015. This year, features from photography, fashion and visual arts have transformed Allerton Studios from an empty studio space into an artistic showcase. What have you got set up in here? So it's an installation piece, there's two projections. We've got some shelves here with various cast objects on, pineapples and hot dogs. And then I've got like a lovely mirrored plinth that reflects the different projections going on and some kind of sculptural work as well. So it's mixed media. And how much time does it take you to prepare for this display? A lot of time. I mean, this really is like the kind of product of three years of being on this course. Um, but a lot of the time has been spent kind of prepping the building, getting involved, painting the walls, scrubbing. We're still doing it right now, actually. I spoke to the new Chancellor for Salford University, Jackie Kay, and asked her why CREATE is important for students graduating from the university. I think CREATE is important to Salford because it puts Salford on the creative map. It's really important that our students who are like vastly talented and all quite unique and individual, there's not like a house style, but there is a, a house enthusiasm, if you like, and a house diversity. And I think it's really important that that diversity gets recognised in the world of art. The festival is open to the public from the 18th to the 20th of June for people to come along and take a look at the work on show. The doors open from 5 o'clock in the evening and close at 9. I'd like to wish Create uh, lots of luck. I hope that the exhibitions go really well. I hope that you um, get a diverse bunch of people in to, to see that and that for the students that are showing their work that they feel uh, satisfied and that they get lots and lots of positive feedback. Alex Worthing, Keys TV News. Family and friends have been invited to join fashion students this afternoon as they display some of their best work from across the year. Two shows will take place, one open to everyone at half four and later viewing at 7.40, specifically for industry professionals. Some of the students spoke to us earlier on in rehearsals and told us why they've got involved. The Create Fashion Show is like a big event for us as students finishing our degrees and showing off our, all of our talents in fashion and all of our individual collections. It's about, you know, getting in touch with industry, trying to, it's all about like getting, getting, getting yourself a job really. I will be showing my collection, 
we've got two shows, so my collection will be on the runway um, for the first time, which will be quite exciting. And also our portfolios are all out, so a lot of industry are coming to look at it. I will probably be spectating. <laughs> well, we have like the full semester for it, but there's like the first part and then the second part of the collection. In the first part, we kind of um, get ready for it, be prepared for it sort out everything and then the second part we finalise the collection and make it. Well we've been working on this for the whole of semester two and our last year um, of our degree so that's all semester two beginning in, we've started in January and we've gone on since January and we've all been sort of every day you know non-stop. It has taken a long time I'd say we started in February with our final major project but before that, the module we had before that was in preparation for the concept and the ideas we wanted to yeah. use. So really, we've been doing it since December. Yeah, the actual really process of making has started more February, March time. My plans are to definitely get a job in a fashion. It's something to do with fashion. And um, we'll see what happens. So definitely to start a career in fashion. My personal plans, I'll, I'm going to be moving away to London and you know, pursuing my career in fashion more and getting out there in industry and seeing what I can do. I have actually been offered a job in China to go and teach as part of the University of Salford at a school in China to teach first year fashion students. So um, I will probably be doing that starting in September. Now, English and drama students from the university have been preparing for performances this week. Both actors and writers have been working hard perfecting four separate productions which will be performed across the festival. Kate Troy has more. At the annual event, Create Salford, the Plays and Performances Showcase is well underway. English and drama students around Salford University deliver performances at Media City throughout the evening. So um, I did a play about two months ago for the Manchester French called uh, Better Brutality Than Boredom and Stephen came to see it and afterwards he got in touch with me like literally like the next day asking me if we were related to come and have a chat. We just talked about some of the projects he does, what I want to do and then uh, he got in touch with me when he was on holiday saying he'd send me a script saying I'm doing this for the Create Festival, do you want to be a part of it? Come in for audition and I went to it and he offered me the part. So just been attached for the part, it's been about two weeks altogether I think. In ten days she told me that she loved me. It was her telling me that she loved me. And she led everything, all, all the physical side of it, all of it. I've never been so happy. The evening consists of three hours of outstanding performances by the University of Salford students, including popular plays such as This Chair, Crap's Last Tape, Bed, and The Dumb Waiter. It's encouraging to, not only as an audience, but also as, as an actress, to, to have a different perspective on, on certain things, you know, because everybody's ap approaching the creativity from a different perspective. So it's good, f it's just, for me, it's, yeah, I like the differences and how it comes together to make one. The Plays and Performances programme is to be a promising success, celebrating the achievements of English and drama students of the class 2015. Time is nearly up, but there are still some more special events to mention. The TV and radio programme are having their very own awards ceremony tonight to celebrate the best pieces they've done over the last year. The BAFTAs will be held in the DPL at 6.30 tonight. Tomorrow night from 7, the University of Salford Journalism Awards will be held at BBC's Key House with guests from Five Live, Granada Reports and National Newspapers among the judges. Good luck from us to all the nominees and congratulations to everyone who is showcasing their work at Create Festival this year. It's nearly time for the Chancellor Jackie Kay to officially open the festival, so our time is up. Thank you very much for watching Keys News this very special and enjoy Create.